starts to tremble at the light that you bring when you walk into the room every heart starts burning and nothing matters more than just to sit here at your feet and worship you
is in the hands of the maker of heaven I need not on my own understanding My life is in the hands of the maker of heaven is in the hands of the maker of heaven I lean not, I lean not on my own understanding my life is in the hands of the maker of heaven I give it all I give it all to you God trusting that you'll make something beautiful out of me Something beautiful out of me I give it all to you, God I give it all to you, God Trusting that you'll make something beautiful out of me I give it all to you I give it all to you, God Trusting that you'll make something beautiful out of me There's nothing I hold on to 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 Nothing I hold on to oh, I open my hands wide Up to you tonight, Lord And I give it all to you Yeah Cause I have a lot of things I'm carrying I know that they're not all from you, Lord They're not all from you Oh, what am I holding back? What am I holding on to When I know that you are the joy you set before me When you say All those who are weary come and find rest here I will take it all, yeah I will take it all There's nothing I hold on to 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 There's nothing I hold on to
Spirit coming over me tonight Letting me know that it's okay Cause by your spirit There is nothing that can stop me From seeing your glory For the spirit of the sovereign Lord is on me Because the Lord has anointed me He has marked me and anointed me He has chosen me for his good For his glory He has picked me chosen anybody so sweet over me with your spirit tonight would you set it right in my heart God that it wasn't just me responding to you you have chosen me first you have chosen me first I was dead in my transgressions You chose me, you picked me out of the miry clay And put my feet on solid rock And as you put me on the solid rock All the dross they washed away And I made new, and I made a new with a new spirit and new mind and heart God, you picked me up from my clay You've made more beautiful Something out of broken pieces Than I could have ever imagined for myself All the glory All the goodness you poured out it all upon 
for me oh holy spirit you are the gift of life you are the gift that came from jesus himself oh he has given us you as a gift as a deposit as a promise oh you'll never leave me holy spirit holy spirit come and fill me up holy spirit come and fill me up holy spirit come come fill me anointed me and chosen me from the time began you knew you you knew me you knew I'd be sitting here before the world began you know where I am going and where I have been so I gotta look to I gotta look to you now I gotta look to the one who saved me and chosen me I gotta look to you oh I gotta look to you who's calling me to go who's calling me to go and to proclaim the good news of the good news to the poor oh you're calling me to go and be a witness god so i say here i am send me lord i lay down everything everything at your feet you've given me freedom You've given me joy, so let me go, go, to share it all around. Oh, you've given me love, yeah, you've given me peace, so I can be the hands and feet for my Savior. Oh, you bless me to be a blessing. You bless me to share the wealth of your goodness And you've anointed me And you've given me strength You have built me up for this world Oh God, I am ready cause you chose me I am ready cause you picked me I am ready cause you fill me up with your spirit I am ready cause you chose me I am ready cause you picked me I am ready cause you fill me up with your spirit I am ready cause you chose me I am ready cause you picked me I am ready cause you fill me up with your spirit 
I am ready cause you chose me I am ready cause you picked me I am ready cause you fill me up with your spirit I am ready cause you chose me I am ready cause you picked me I am ready cause you fill me up with your spirit I am ready cause you chose me I am ready cause you picked me I am ready cause you fill me up with your spirit I am ready cause you chose me I am ready cause you picked me I am ready cause you fill me up with your spirit I am ready cause you chose me I am ready cause you picked me I am ready cause you fill me up with your spirit I am ready cause you chose me I am ready cause you picked me I am ready cause you fill me up with your spirit I am ready cause you chose me I am ready cause you picked me I am ready cause you fill me up with your spirit Oh God, the freedom we experience here tonight Would you multiply Would you multiply through these hands, oh Lord you have prepared me for such a time as this Every experience leading up to now They were all for a reason All for a reason Who you are You are sending me out You're sending me out
sometimes so limited, God. But would you open up our hearts tonight, Lord? Would you open up our minds tonight? And I know that there are so many ways you are giving us to experience this freedom you've died for. You've died for, Jesus. Help us to get out of our heads sometimes, God. Help us get out of our pride. Sometimes, Lord, help us get out of our troubles, troubles, Jesus. For you have given us freedom to walk freely and dance freely and laugh freely. Oh, God, and rejoice in your presence freely, freely. Yeah. For whom the sun sets free is free indeed. Oh, whom the sun sets free is free indeed.
great exchange that's about to happen through our hands and feet where we'll see those exchanging despair for joy and ashes for beauty well this great exchange is only possible through Christ Jesus oh we know it don't we oh we know it don't we for we have experienced this very truth in our lives for he has chosen he has chosen us God everything seems upside down in your kingdom oh but in in truth everything is right side up God would you change our would you change our understanding of how this world should be? We ask in Jesus' name, we ask in Jesus' name, and we seek in Jesus' name. Oh, the eyes to see the things that you see, the eyes to see the way that you see, God the way that you see cause the truth is nothing is upside down but everything is right side up nothing is upside down but everything is right side up in your kingdom God in your kingdom God in your kingdom God Lord oh truly those who mourn will rejoice truly the weak will eat the strong truly those who bring the ashes will be crowned with the beauty we will see things right up oh jesus truly you are changing the way we see things you are changing the way we know things oh would you begin this work tonight we don't want to see the things the way that we see the way that we just do holy spirit we need you we need you Though I sow in tears, you make me reap with joy. And if I give my life away, you say I'll find it. And if I die, you will resurrect me. Yeah. You've asked, how do I do it? How do I do all these things to set all the broken free? You've asked, how do I do it? How do I do it all? I've prayed, I've fasted, I've done all the right things. But you see, watch what he does. He's giving you the gift of faith. So receive all his power, receive all his power. You've been anointed, you've been given him, you've been given the power. So watch me, watch me move. So we fix our eyes on you. We fix our eyes on you, Holy Spirit. Move, 
Holy Spirit move we fix our eyes on you God we fix our eyes on you Holy Spirit move Holy Spirit move we don't want to go ahead of you God we don't want to go ahead of you God but to follow you Oh, we want to follow you, yeah We don't want to go ahead of you, God We don't want to go ahead of you, God But we want to follow you We want to follow you, yeah We don't want to go ahead of you, God We don't want to go ahead of you But we want to follow you Oh, we want to follow you go ahead of you God and we don't want to go ahead of you but we want to follow you we want to follow you yeah we don't want to go ahead of you God we don't want to go ahead of you God we we'll follow you we want to follow you we don't want to go ahead of you Spirit of the Holy One In the spirit of 
There's nothing I hold on to. 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 There's nothing I
nations tonight in prayer and we're going to begin with Cambodia and so <laughs> amen um, amen man the spirit of God is very thick in this place um, so we're going to begin with Cambodia and I have the honor of being our team preacher and this nation has really um, suffered from a lot of devastation if you're aware at all of Cambodia's history recent history actually in the 60s and 70s um, the Khmer Rouge had a very atrocious reign where they um, they uh, massacred over two million of their citizens many of the most educated and, and wealthy of the nation at that time were taken out into fields and, and just um, killed um, and that's where we get the term killing fields and um, this nation the reign of the Khmer Rouge they wiped out an entire generation and even today they're um, in many ways Cambodia is rebuilding and and coming alive again after that um, time in their history what we see are a lot of orphans um, and a lot of those um, a lot of impoverished people and a lot of orphans and a lot of the most vulnerable in Cambodia society are sold into sex trafficking and into um, prostitution as well in that nation and so our team is leaving December 27th and we're going to be focusing um, on revival services but most of our time will be spent um, at Pastor Sinai's children's home and we'll get to really um, minister with the father's heart in a very practical way um, with these amazing children of cambodia and so um, as i lead these topics i want you to come in agreement with me as i pray and follow after i end with your own intercession okay <clears throat> father i lift up to you each and every cambodia missions team member here in seoul and in busan i release grace over each of us to seek your face and your heart with greater passion and zeal I thank you that in the place of meeting with you in the secret place, you will pour out your spirit upon us in greater measure and reveal to us your Father's heart for the people of Cambodia. I declare each and every team member is fully equipped and that their spirit men are being made strong right now. I declare supernatural team unity and love over our team, that even if we meet together just a few times, there will be deep connection in the spirit and that our ministry on the field will just overflow low in love. God, I thank you for your favor marking each team member for the supernatural open doors you've already given to us and also for the full financial support that will come into our team as we fundraise. Lord, pour out your spirit upon Cambodia Missions team members. Let's pray.
good, good father. And your goodness and faithfulness and commitment to Cambodia are so evident in what you're doing at this hour in the young generation. And I pray in the spirit of Joel 2.28 for your spirit to be poured out upon the young generation of Cambodia, God. Those in the slums and children's homes, those that are the most vulnerable and destitute, God, I thank you that you're the God who calls the poor rich, the weak strong, and the orphan a son. And Father, will you manifest your Father's heart through our Cambodia team members in a way that forever establishes these young people in sonship to you. We call them heirs, we call them royalty, we call them victorious ones, God. We prophesy life over them and life over their dreams and destinies. We declare that out of these slums and orphanages, there will be future politicians, musicians, teachers, doctors, lawyers, and ministers will be called forth from these places, God. Lord, raise up a burning generation, a generation of John the Baptist that usher in your kingdom and reign in Cambodia. God, I thank you that every single thing the enemy has tried to steal and kill and destroy, God, through the reign of the Khmer Rouge and through this nation's history, you are restoring and redeeming and making new again at this hour. God, we thank you that you're going to use this young generation to do it. Let's pray.
thank you so much for your glorious possession, your treasured possession, Cambodia. God, I thank you for your amazing Father's heart. And Lord, I just cover each and every team member, and I thank you that they are well equipped, that they are fully loaded, God, that they have everything that they need. And God, I thank you that you're sending us out in the Isaiah 61 anointing to bind the brokenhearted, God. I thank you that when we present ashes to you, truly you call it beautiful, God. Lord, I thank you that um, that you are giving us the opportunity, God, to love on, on your precious, precious sons and daughters. God, I thank you that you want to transform their lives, that you want to um, really see, Lord God, your gospel made manifest in their lives. God, I pray that you will use each and every team member, God, so specifically, so uniquely to manifest your Father's heart supernaturally to each and every Cambodian that we come in contact with, God. Lord, I thank you for Pastor Sinai. I thank you for his mighty call, God, to really father the fatherless in this nation. And I pray that we will be a support and encouragement to him in Cambodia. And in Jesus' name name we pray. Amen. Now we're going to go to a time of interceding for Borneo, Malaysia. Uh, Borneo is an island. It's made of three different nations. It's a pretty multicultural place. Uh, there's Malaysia, and then on the south side there's Indonesia, and then there's that small little tiny Brunei, Brunei, it's the one you always you always feel proud of when you get right on the geography test. That's, that's for me. <laughs> um, yeah, so it's filled with many local tribes there. Um, the place where we're going, there's a large population of Christians already there. In the Indonesian south side, it's uh, predominantly Islamic. But uh, where we will be going, uh, there's already a strong presence of the gospel that has been there, a long history of that. But of course, we just want to see we want to see lives that are just on fire for God, right? And we want to see that that walk. Being, being lived out even more. Uh, before we uh, pray for the people of Borneo, though, uh, we need to lift up special prayer requests for our team. It, it feels like our team is hitting resistance, you know, uh, and we still have three people that need to secure vacation dates. But uh, you know, the God, the God who has, from time to time, shown up in in powerful healings. And we've seen people walk. I mean, it's the same God who opens up doors and vacations. And so we don't, with, without any doubt, we, we know that God opens up these doors. And so we just want to, we just want to like speak forth that faith. And we know that God is, yeah, God is sovereign, right? Um, our team leader is Tom Beatty. I uh, know no, our team preacher is Tom Beatty. And our team leader is Michelle Flickinger. I'm just filling in for her tonight. And we also have nine other members. Um, also, our team, like uh, half of our team, is is down in Busan, and you know, some I think uh, one other person from outside of New Philly, and so we just want unity. We want unity on that team, right? So that uh, we want God's unity and peace, so that when we finally all meet together and we go out into the field, that that, that there's just ease on our part. You know, there's God's peace. I mean, it's, it's not us trying to figure ourselves out. It's it's us figuring out the people of Borneo and being fully relational, fully present with them there. So, uh, yes, please pray with me as uh, we lift up our team and uh, Borneo. Lord, we know that you are sovereign. You are sovereign, Lord, and it's by your calling and by your will that we are sent to your people in Borneo. And by that faith right now, Lord, we speak open doors, Lord. We release your grace and favor in these situations to receive the necessary time that we need to go. Lord, we speak your blessing and your joy entering into the hearts of, of our administrators. And we, and we speak, Lord, your desire for them to take part, Lord. For them to, to have joy in taking part in this with us, Lord. And we disallow dis uh, dis discouragement, Lord, that would bring our team down. And in this time of testing, Lord, we invite your Holy Spirit to all the more stir up excitement and expectation for your power to be displayed. Lord, bless this team with, with hearts that sincerely seek uh, to love you and to love others above themselves, Lord. Mark us with hearts of honor. Mark us with hearts of peace, with mutual edification, Lord, that we would be perfect conduits of your Holy Spirit on the field as we minister to your people. Let's pray right now.
thank you. We thank you that you are a God of power, a living, breathing God that takes part daily in your creation. And God, we lift up your kingdom people of Borneo. We praise your name for the work that has been sown in so far, and we declare increase, Lord. Increase in the place of worship. Increase in the place of faith, in the place of influence, God. Increase in the place of just your resources and abundant blessing, Lord. Lord, continue to empower your people to live lives of fire that will spread, Lord, that will catch, Lord, and will never be put out, Lord. That through your people, we would begin to see transformation amongst all the nations of that island, Lord. Refresh and invigorate their faith. Bring new followers, Lord, of Jesus into your kingdom. We go as vessels of your power and love, Lord. And we believe that you will pour out that power and that love over the people of Borneo. Encounter them beyond our wisdom. And supernaturally, Lord, reveal the hidden wisdom of our Savior, Jesus, Lord. And we thank you, Lord, that you are preparing them for greater testimonies of the living God and greater encounters with you. In your name we pray. Let's pray.
is above them. Hope in heaven 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 is above them. Lord, we thank you that in every situation you remain sovereign, you remain in control. We trust that you have you have called for work to be done in Borneo, God. And in every situation, we lean not on our own understanding, God. We trust in you with our whole heart. You are the one who opens doors that no man can shut, Lord. And Lord, we just, we just speak forth the building up of your kingdom in Borneo. May your body of believers be marked with a culture of mutual edification. And in this time, we speak forth your blessing over your people. We call forth zealous faith, Lord. A zealous people, Lord, marked by fire. And the strengthening of your church, Lord, established there. And we release testimonies of undeniable encounters with you. Yes. Believers who live daily by the leading of you, Holy Spirit. And we ask these things by the power and the love poured out through you, Jesus. Amen. Um, now we are going to pray for Jakarta, Indonesia. And uh, re uh, God is already moving powerfully in Jakarta and he's calling us to partner in and releasing his kingdom uh, in this city as it is in heaven amen uh, and recently a new governor took place took office in Jakarta and he is the first Christian to take office after 50 years and so um, this is a praise report but this is also uh, causing a lot of unrest and unease in the tension, uneasiness and tension in Jakarta because Jakarta is an, a Muslim nation and though they have freedom of expressing their religion, um, a lot of Muslims are finding it very difficult to uh, submit under his leadership and so yeah, God is moving uh, but we need to pray and uh, I have the privilege of leading this team with uh, 11 other mighty warriors and uh, we will be going to the city to strengthen and encourage the students at ICAT Theological Seminary. Uh, these students are the ones that will reach and minister uh, in the many different tribal and ethnic communities in Indonesia. And so we'll also be ministering with local MPW church congregations and empower and encourage the local leaders there. And so the first thing I want to pray for is um, I want us to pray protection over the leaders of this nation. Um, so please come in agreement with me as I pray and follow with your own interces intercession. So Father, we lift up the leaders of Indonesia this evening and ask that you will fill them with your spirit as they are given positions of influence over the nation. We thank you for the new governor of Jakarta who is a man after your own heart, who trusts you and seeks after your leading. We pray a head of protection over him as he leads as the governor of Jakarta and we declare that the hearts of the Muslims are softening towards him and through him and his leadership encounters you. We pray protection and grace over the Christian leaders, the local pastors, uh, Sister Donna, God, we pray for the ministers and declare that their hearts and minds are being strengthened as they stand firm in their calling and trust in you. We we declare that no weapon formed against them shall prosper. We pray for the fear of the Lord over these leaders and that nothing will hinder them from wholeheartedly following you. Through this nation, though this nation is still heavily influenced by the Islam faith, Father, we recognize that you are moving strategically and powerfully over this nation by raising up mighty men and women to release your kingdom in Indonesia. So we prophesy that Indonesia is going to be a nation that glorifies you alone, the true and living God. Let's pray. Thank you. 
Father, we lift up our brothers and sisters in Indonesia and pray for your unconditional love to pour upon them and strengthen them. We thank you that you are raising up mighty men and women, warriors, worshipers, that declare, and we declare that the students of ICAT Theological Seminary and local leaders are strongly and firmly rooted in their identities in you. We pray for your supernatural joy to overflow in their lives. No matter what difficulties and persecution they may face, we declare that your children are unshakable because they trust that you are leading the way and protecting them. So we declare that their hearts and minds are strengthened as they continue to set their gaze upon Jesus. You are their strength. You are their hope. You are their peace and joy. Let's pray. Joy 
belongs to them all your strength belongs to them all your presence belongs to them all your love belongs to them all your joy belongs to them all your strength belongs to them all your presence belongs to them they are yours oh god father we thank you that jakarta indonesia is yours and we declare that your children are taking their place as mighty warriors, firmly rooted in you, overflowing with your joy and strengthened by your unconditional love. Father, we thank you, Lord, that you're already moving and that we're just merely partnering with what you are doing. So we thank you and we pray in Jesus' name, amen. we believe father god even though we don't see it in the natural god we believe god that you are you are truly the lord of lords and the king of kings god and we just say god that have your as you as you continue father too as you continue to pour out your spirit upon us continue to fill us with fresh revelations of your love for us individually help us to overflow this and be a blessing to wherever you send us truly lord you're calling us to go wherever you go and you will lead us to a place where you have been you won't lead us astray god you are a good shepherd you're a good father we love you lord we love you so much god in jesus name we pray amen thank you for joining us tonight um, um yeah I think it's just a awesome 
uh, thing that we have here that we get to gather together aside from our regular prayer meetings that we get to just gather in God's presence specifically at K1 um, to just worship and to just hear from the Lord his heart uh, for us individually I think that's the first thing that he wants us to hear before we get to hear about what we're called to do what we ought to do what we must do all that stuff um, so I hope that you were able to hear from the Lord tonight I personally did a lot uh, and I was very blessed to be here um, so yeah I'll see you guys again next week um, and if you want to come out there is another uh, set that we have on Tuesdays as well as on Wednesdays um, and uh, for all those who are American happy Thanksgiving um, Canadians like to be a little earlier so ours passed um, but yeah as a special treat we have a bit of pumpkin pie prepared for you guys so stay to enjoy and have fellowship um, if you'd like be blessed everyone good night